An 18 year old is accused of killing a man while out on bond and wearing a GPS monitor. News 13's Brittany Bade explains. Well, Dean and Jess, the DA tried to keep 18 year old Devin Munford locked up until trial after he was arrested for shooting from a motor vehicle in December. But the judge let Munford out and now he is facing charges for a string of violent crimes over the weekend. He not only was engaged um, um, and committed the murder, but there was also a subsequent aggravated assault and an armed robbery. And this is the type of violent, dangerous individual that we move um, repeatedly to try and, and and get off the streets of the community. And so we're we're very disappointed that the that the system failed. In December, District Court Judge Clara Moran agreed with prosecutors that Munford was a danger, but ruled that certain conditions of release could keep the community safe. So she let Munford out on an ankle monitor. He was ordered to only leave his house for work, school, or medical appointments. However, APD and the district attorney say that did not happen. On Friday evening, Munford is accused of shooting and killing 22-year-old Devon Hayborn. APD says the two were cellmates at MDC and had an ongoing dispute related to drugs. Less than two days after the murder, Munford is accused of pointing a shotgun at the clerk of the 7-Eleven on San Mateo and Catherine. All the while, he was wearing his court-mandated ankle monitor. Investigators say that ended up putting him at the scenes of both crimes. Torres argues this is the perfect case to highlight why pretrial detention needs to be overhauled. But today, the public defender's office defended the judge's December decision. He didn't have a long criminal history. Nobody was hurt in that initial allegation, and he was not a repeat offender at that point when the court heard the information regarding the detention. Um, and even a wise prosecutor can't predict the future, and there will always be some danger. Um, when anybody's making these decisions. Barella says the amount of people who reoffend while out on bond is small. Now, Torres says his office is now requesting an investigation into why no one sounded the alarm when Munford repeatedly left his home. Dean. All right, Brittany, thank you. Torres is also requesting all of Munford's GPS data from the time that he was out because he believes it could connect him to even more crimes.